Hello and welcome to class. Today's class I am calling Hit and Run. Some days you come to yoga and your uh, goal, your needs are to come into your body in a peaceful way, to shed some stress. Today we are coming into our body in a powerful way so that we can embrace the day with strength and energy. We're going to start by standing, so finding your Tadasana, toes spread wide, shoulders over the hips, ears over the shoulders. Maybe even take a couple of little marching steps to find those feet right under the hips. Now starting to draw up energy from the arches, pulling up through the inner thigh, up through the groin, lifting Mula Bandha. Starting to engage the core, pulling in those bottom ribs. Shoulder blades plugging into the back, heart lifting. Lengthening the neck. Shoulders spreading away from the ears. We're going to take just a second here and breathe. Good. Inhaling the arms out and up. Bringing palms to touch. Exhaling down through heart center. Inhaling out and up. Palms to touch. Exhaling down through heart center. Another like that. Inhaling out and up. But this time we're going to interlace the fingers, flip the palms, and press the ceiling away. Big inhale. On the exhale, tipping the rib cage to the right. Inhaling back center. Exhale, tipping left. Inhale back center. We're going to go into a fold. Exhale those arms down. Heart lifted, tailbone lifted. Take your time. Now, uh, especially first thing in the morning, bend those knees a lot. Maybe even bring the belly to the thighs. And then just slowly... Start to uh, work those hamstrings open. Big muscles, they take a while. Good. We're going to come to that halfway lift. Nice flat back. Good. Back into that forward fold. And then we shall inhale, rise, and exhale, bring those arms down. We're going to do a little bit of a hula hoop. So again, finding the uh, feet maybe a little bit wider than uh, Tadasana, and we're just going to start to bring the hips in circles. Now think about uh, allowing your pelvis to really tilt here. So as you come forward, the tailbone tucks under. As you go back, the tailbone lifts, right? So we're starting to get that almost cat-cow sensation, right? So a little bit of cow, a little bit of cat, you know, get the shoulders involved. Switching directions. Don't worry, nobody's looking. <laughs> Good, just trying to get that whole spine loose, ready, lubricated. All right, finding yourself at the top of your mat. We're going to inhale those arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Okie dokie. Now we're going to plant that right hand either uh, just straight to the ground or on a block. Make sure that your spine is straight here. If you need to make adjustments to get it there, do that. Then first we're going to inhale the right arm to the sky. Coming back center, left arm to the sky. Coming back center, big bend in those knees, inhale, rise, here we go, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, 
Chaturanga, exhale. Make sure to plug in those shoulder blades. Up dog or cobra. Hips up and back. Good. Looking between the hands, hop or walk, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Hips up and back, exhale. Looking between the hands, hop or walk forward, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. And inhale, rise. Good, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Hips up and back. All right, we're gonna step forward with the right leg coming up, lunge. Good. Taking a moment just to settle in. This will be the only moment we take in our lunge sequence. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, except the other side. Hips up and back. Left leg steps forward, coming up, lunge. Taking a moment. Good, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Hips up and back. Right side, bring it up. Good, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Hips up and back. Left side, bring it up. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Hips up and back. Warrior three, right leg forward. Coming up, warrior three of your choice. Good, so much control as you set those back toes down. Take it through your flow. Left side, warrior three. So much control as you set those toes down. Take it through your flow. Another time, right side. Through your flow. Left side, warrior three. Take it through your flow. Good job. All right, look to the top of the mat, walk those feet, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise, stepping the feet wide, coming into a goddess pose. Heels in, toes out. Alrighty, take a second, find your depth. Little gentle bounces. So we're pretty warm, but this is deep, right? So. Pay attention to what things feel like. Make a mental note of where your safe zones are, where your uh, zones you need to be careful are. All right, from here, coming up star. Bring it down, goddess. Coming up star. Option, arms can come to cactus. Up star. And goddess. Up star or heart center. Giatis, up star, and goddess, 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 up star, back to goddess, we're gonna hold it. Okay, we're gonna make our way into a almost yogi squat. Feet are gonna be wide, we're gonna come down, find your balance, so it's not really a chair pose, it's not really a squat, it's somewhere in between. We're gonna press up, Pressing away with one leg, coming back down. Press up, 
back down, press up, back down, press up, back down, press up, back down, <laughs> press up, back down, press up, back down, press up, just as low as is comfortable, back down, press up, back down, press up, ooh, let it get bigger, back down, press up, whoa, back down, press up, back down. We're gonna stay in our yogi squat for a moment. Alrighty, so we're coming all the way up from our yogi squat, so make sure that the feet are wide enough. If they're too close together, it's not gonna be possible. We're gonna go straight up and bring it down. Lots of control, bring it up and bring it down. Bring it up, 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 halfway down. Yeah, I know. Find the core. Make sure uh, you don't have sway back going on. A little tuck of that tailbone. Thighs are going to start to introduce themselves. Good. Woohoo! And bring it up, top of the mat. Inhale the arms up, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Hips up and back, exhale. Taking a breath. Check out your alignment. Make sure your shoulders, your arms, your hands are doing what you want them to do. Good, okay. Looking to the top of the mat, hop or walk, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise. Go ahead and exhale those arms down, okay. We're gonna do a core exercise that isn't gonna be possible for everybody. If you have a stiff back, maybe stiff hip flexors, you're not gonna be able to get up. You're gonna roll down and go thump, uh, and that's gonna be that. If that happens to you, um, you're gonna wanna do uh, probably bug pose as an alternative or uh, just some traditional crunches, and that'll be fine. Otherwise, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come down, roll back, and then come right back up. Just like that. If you got stuck on the ground, that's okay, but you're probably gonna need to stay there. <laughs> so again, traditional crunches or the bug pose. All right, here we go, get away. This is about building energy. Activating the entire body. Building that core strength as well, of course. Where's your mind? In your body, I bet. Keep it going. Okay, adding a hop if you can. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. You can keep going if you'd like to. Whew. Oh, well done, you guys. We're going to come to the floor. We're not going to have a big, long uh, savasana. We want to keep this energy, keep this sense, sense of vitality, right? So it's gonna be a real quick shavasana, um, and then you're free to go off into your day like a warrior. Coming onto your back. <sighs> Letting go of any breath control. Softening through the core. 
Notice the stillness of the mind. How peaceful is that? Relaxing the forehead, the eyebrows, the little space between, softening through the eyes, the temples, the cheeks, letting them melt down towards the ears, and relaxing the jaw, letting the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. With each exhale, feeling your body pressing heavier and heavier into your mat. With each exhale, falling deeper and deeper into relaxation. For these next few moments, just relax. Beautiful, starting to move fingers, move toes. Maybe moving the bigger joints of the body a little bit, then reaching the arms overhead for that big full body stretch. All right, we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna bring those knees up for a big squeeze. We're gonna rock forward. Strong core. Here we are, coming to your seat. Ooh. Take a moment, feel into the body. Notice what's changed. Notice the result of your practice that you've just completed. And inhaling the arms out and up, palms to touch, exhaling down through heart center. Inhaling out and up. Grabbing that arm load of healing energy. Exhale, pull it down to heart center. Feel the warmth. See the glow. And the last time, inhaling out and up. Bringing palms to touch. Exhaling down to the third eye for the mind, the heart center for the body and spirit. Namaste. Ah, Get into the day and embrace it like the warrior that you are. We'll see you next time. Bye.